In this video, I'm going to be going over the products uh, or the package products set up in WooCommerce for the WP Job Manager uh, Packages plugin. So as you can see here, I'm on the Packages page, so under or the Products page, under Products, All Products, and you'll see I already have the example one set up from the setup process for the packages, but if I wanted to set up a new one, I can just go ahead and click on Add New. And as you can see, we can now enter in our product name. And so we'll say this is going to be the, um, the tutorial package. And then in description, we'll say view one listing, apply to one listing, browse all listings. And then you'll come down and you'll notice right here under product data, you'll see right here this drop down. You'll see now we have a bunch of different available options here. Specifically for the packages add-on, my packages, they're going to show up as job visibility package, job visibility subscription, resume visibility package, and resume visibility subscription. These four are the ones that are added by my plugin. The one you see here, job package and resume package and job package subscription, those are added by the WooCommerce uh, paid listings add-on from automatic, which you can purchase from wpjobmanager.com. That is completely separate from my plugin. Um, their, their packages are for submitting listings, so charging users to submit listings. Mine are for uh, charging users to view, browse, or apply to listings. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set this one. And you also do have to, and you'll notice here, the subscription one. In order for the subscriptions to work, you must have the WooCommerce subscriptions add-on plugin. If you do not have that in here, this, this one, is the subscription is not going to show. And that is required because the subscriptions add-on is what handles the subscriptions, sending the billing, you know, recurring billing, all that such. Um, so that's completely, or that is absolutely required for that to be set up. So... Now you'll notice on here, so we'll say job civility, uh, subscription. So we'll say here, let's, let's charge the users $9.99 every month. And we're going to allow them to view one job, apply to one job, and allow them to browse. Now you'll notice view rollover. So rollover add unused credits to package when subscription is renewed. So what this does is this is specific to subscriptions. Uh, this is not available in a regular package. This is specific to visibility subscriptions, resume or job. What this does is when you're using the subscriptions add-on, if you say, if say we give a user 10, a limit of 10, and they use five, and their subscription renews the next month, the way the rollover works is if they only use five of them, and you have this enabled on their package, when they renew their subscription, the next month, they're technically going to have 15 jobs available they can view. Okay, does that make sense? So um, I'll give you an example here with the apply. So we allow them to apply to one job with this package. I enable rollover. The user does not apply to a package the first month. The next month, they renew their subscription renews. They make the payment. The unused credit for the apply is going to be added to their package to their package for the renewal. So next month they're going to have two and so on and so forth. And then three, it basically, it's just like cell phone services with rolling over minutes. We're just rolling over credits for viewing, applying, or browsing. Or actually, I'm sorry, not browsing. Um, but as you can see here, we then also have the standard visibility package. And I'll show you just the resume one to show you. So on this one, you can do the same. You can set to view a certain amount, view the resume name, allow them to contact the resume, allow them to browse. So on the job one, job visibility, uh, when it's not the subscription one, you see we, it doesn't have the rollover and that's because it's subscriptions are required for that. Um, and then you can select the view job. Uh, if you leave this blank, that'll allow them to view unlimited ones, as you can see with that back there. The only other option uh, configuration that you have here available is to use the short description. This will allow you to customize what is shown to the user when they select a package uh, to view a listing. So for a quick example, let's go back to the actual page where we were selecting the, let's actually, let's re just refresh this page. Actually, I have already purchased this package. So 
as you'll notice, whenever we go to click on here, it's going to require a package. So this wording that's right below here, this is all automatically generated based on the configuration of the packages. If you want to customize the wording that shows below this, then you would do so in this product short description and enable this checkbox on that package. And then you can use these short codes to show them on there. That's pretty much all there is. Then you just publish that package and the package will automatically show up on there whenever you select the, the packages for applying, so on and so forth. So hope to see you in some of the next tutorials. Thanks for watching.